Okay, so this is homework number 26, and I drew almost all of the pictures, well, I think all the pictures on the front side, and some of the pictures on the reverse side. Okay, number one says, the measure of angle KLM. Find it if the measure of angle KLB is 26. So here's K, here's L, and here's B. And they tell you that that is 26. But then they tell you that the measure of angle BLM is 60. And BLM is 60. And if you want to get the measure of angle KLM, you need to add those angles together. So 60 plus 26 gives you an answer of 86 degrees. And that's it for the first one. Now, in problem number two, it says, find the measure of angle FGB. So here is angle FGB. You have to figure out how big that angle is. But it does say that the measure of angle, oh, I'm sorry, I read it wrong. Find the measure of angle FGH. They want you to find this angle the big one over here, the whole thing. But they do tell you that the measure of angle FGB is 105. So I'm gonna put a 105 in there. And they tell you that the measure of angle BGH, here's B, here's G, here's H, so it's this angle is 54. So if you wanna figure out what the total angle is, all you have to do is add together 105 and 54 to get a total of 159 degrees for the large angle. Number three, the measure of angle GHC is 60. So here's G, here's H, and here's C. This is 60 degrees. It then tells you that the measure of angle CHI is 104. So here's C, H, I. They're talking about this angle is 104. But the question is asking what is the measure of angle G, H, I? And G, H, I is the total angle, so you have to add them together. So 104 plus 60, when you add them up, you get 164. And that's how many degrees are in that angle. Now, number four says, find the measure of angle WVU. So here's WVU. It's the large angle. But it does tell you that XVU is 60. Did I read that incorrectly? I did. ZVU is 62. ZVU, the bottom half, is 62. And it tells you that the measure of WVZ, so WVZ, this angle over here is 50. So if they're asking for the total angle, you have to add them up. So 50 plus 62 on a calculator gives you 112 degrees. All right, we are on question number five. If the measure of angle FM N. So here's F, here's M, and here's N. And they tell me it's 90 degrees, so instead of putting the box in, I'm just going to label it as 90. Oh, 99 degrees. Maybe it's better I didn't put it in the box. It then says the measure of angle L, M, F. So here's L, here's M, and here's F, and that's the bottom portion. Let me just make it look like a better 9. That angle is 36 degrees. But the question is, what is the measure of angle LMN, which is the full angle? So what you have to do is take the 99 degrees and add the 36 degrees to it. And if you use your calculator, you'll get a total angle of 125 degrees. Okay, we are up to number six. Find the measure of angle WDC. Now this is finally different, WDC is an unknown angle. So I'm gonna put an X there because I don't believe there's gonna be an X in any of the problem, of this problem. It then says in number six, 
the measure of angle EDC is 145. So EDC is the total angle, the whole thing. They tell you that the whole thing is 145. But then it says the measure of angle EDW, EDW, this one on the top is 61. So now it's a little bit different. Your equation is actually x plus 61 has to equal the total angle of 145. So when you add the two smaller angles, it gives you the total angle. So your job is to subtract 61 from each side. And if you use your calculator, you will get an answer of 84 degrees. And that's your answer for the angle. All right, number seven is next. Find the measure of angle JKL. Now, once again, JKL is the full angle. That's what they want you to find. But they do tell you that SKL, this portion of it, is equal to 31 degrees. And they tell you that JKS, which is the bottom portion, that one is equal to 52 degrees. So if they're asking for the total angle, you have to add them together. So whatever 31 and 52 is on your calculator, that's the total number of degrees. All right, we are up to the next one, number eight. The measure of angle IHQ, find it. So here is I, here is H, and here is Q. This is not the total. So I'll put an X there because it's not the total big angle. And they tell you in number eight that the measure of IHG is 176. So here's I, here's H, and here's G. The total angle is 176, the whole thing, meaning both those little pieces add up to 176. But then it tells you QHG, which is here, this angle over here is 130 degrees. So you just have to memorize the concept because when you look for the smaller angle, I usually label it with an X, that when you add the two smaller angles, you're supposed to get the large angle, which is 176. And basically all you have to do is subtract 130 from both sides. And if you use your calculator, you get 46 degrees for the missing angle. Okay, we are up to number nine. Find the measure of angle KLU. So you're only looking for a small one. So I will put an X in there. It then says, if the measure of ULM is 20, so ULM, that's the other small one, is 20. But they do tell you that KLM, which is the big one, is a full angle of 110 degrees. That's the whole thing. So when you have the two smaller ones, you add them together and you set it equal to the full large one. And if you solve for X by subtracting 20 from both sides, you will end up with an answer of X equals 90. And that's how many degrees are in the last angle, that missing one over there. Okay, um, hopefully you can see that. There we go. Okay, so number 10, it says, find the measure of angle IJA. So here's IJA, it's a small little angle, so I'll put the X in there. But then it says the measure of AJK, so here's AJK, this other small angle is equal to 61. But if you continue to read, it tells you that IJK, which is the big angle, that one is 153. So what you need to do is add the two smaller angles together and always set it equal to the sum or the larger angle, which is 153. And if you end up doing that, all you have to do is subtract 61 from both sides and you will get x equals 92 
degrees. And that takes care of number 10. So 92 degrees is the answer for that. All right, we are up to the next side, number 11. Now, I have to stop filling in X's for the unknowns. Why? Because now all of a sudden they are using X's, which means I'm not allowed to use an X. So in number 11, H, G, F, that's the big angle, the big one. That one is 16 X plus four. But then it says E, G, F, that's one of the small ones is 110. And then it tells you that H, G, E, which is one of the small ones, is 3x plus 11. And the rule is never going to change. So I'll change the color of the marker. Hopefully this marker works okay. Your job is to add the two smaller angles together. And always set it equal to the larger angle. That's what you have to do every single time. So on the left hand side, you get 3x plus 121 equals 16x plus 4. And your job is to solve that equation. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because I'm so far at the end. We'll give it a shot. If you subtract 3x from both sides, you're gonna get 121 equals 13x plus four. And I think you can still see that, but I'm definitely running out of room. So I'll have to move it. But if you subtract four from both sides, you will get 117 equals 13x. And I have to be honest with you, you are required to then pick up your calculator and actually do the division and figure out how many 13s go into 117. And the answer is actually nine. So for that problem, sorry I can't keep my camera level. The answer to number 11 is x equals nine. So I'm definitely running out of some space to do number 12. So I'm gonna erase the question above it just so I have some room to do number 12 because I already started to write over it. I will pick up the red marker in hopes that it writes well so it's easy for you to see. So number 12 says VUT is 175. So VUT is the whole angle that is a full 175 degrees. It then tells you in this problem Oh, Leah, you really would have difficulty seeing this problem. I think I'm just going to have to read for it. 